you want to feel beautiful all day long and not like feeling slubby and dirty or anything you want to really feel feminine hello my dear beautiful people how are you today i hope you're having an amazing day and i hope everything's going on well with you considering everything that's going on right now in the world and so today we are going to talk about how to stay feminine at home considering that everyone is at home right now everyone is just staying at home and i'm going to give you tips on how to stay feminine how to keep your femininity at home how to also stay confident how to stay positive and things that we can do to be relaxed feminine and feeling good you know so if you want to know more keep watching but first just wanted to let you know that if you want to see more of my content subscribe down below and also don't forget to follow me on my instagram which is lisa heart style when you subscribe click on the bell so you never miss any of my notification okay so let's get started so the first tip that i wanted to give you and how to stay feminine at home which is it is to wear beautiful loungewear to try to look beautiful even at home you know like you don't have to be completely uh, <laughs> having full face of makeup and wearing heels and everything to look cute at home and to feel beautiful you know just have to find some beautiful loungewear so I suggest fabric like velvet silk also knitted material to stay at home is very very comfortable also knitted dresses knitted dresses that are not not especially body combs they're a little bit looser it's still a dress so it's still looking you know feminine but it's it's more comfortable that one that would be too bodycon, too fitted. And of course you have some cohort on ASOS, on a lot of stores. So I'm going to link below my selection on beautiful loungewear that I found on different websites. So you can check it out if you want. And also like right now we are all stuck at home. So we need to find a way to stay positive. And I think that a way to stay positive is also to feel good and to feel confident, to still feel fine and what I love to do is to wear beautiful loungewear actually I have a video on how to be comfortable classy so I present cute loungewear on my channel and I have a link under the video of a lot of loungewear that I suggest and actually in this video I'm going to link below also some cute loungewear that I can find on the website so you have some couple of ideas yeah, I know I know it's hard to find some cute and feminine loungewear so check out the links below and and also see my other video it was not a long time ago so you can order online so you're fine and also I suggest to have cute cardigans I love cardigans I love having cute cardigans because we are all kind of cold here if you're cold if you're in a kind of cold country you need some cute cardigan and even if you're living in a warm country I think that sometimes it can be a little bit you know colder even at night or like certain times when it's just raining this I think it's so elegant and so girly so also like cute loungewear as I said right now I'm wearing this gorgeous loungewear so if you want something that is kind of warm and very comfortable but luxurious looking look how shiny it is it looks so expensive even though it's not so it's from a brand called Marin Tales and I love what they're doing I didn't even know their brand so let me show you so let me show you the outfit like look at this this is so luxurious looking and I love that it's cropped right here so even if you want to wear it cropped you can but I prefer personally wearing something underneath. I'm more comfortable this way but if you want to wear it cropped you can which is cool. You can also open it and wear it open like this. It's very cute you know like you're very you can you have pockets. Ooh, ooh, very luxurious looking and it is pink. So it is very feminine. Give you this very feminine figure and I love it. So this is from Marin Tales and I will link it below if I find it, if it's again on the stores, I think it is. But it's really good quality and really not expensive at all. So I think to stay feminine and keep your femininity, you have to try your best to look feminine. Also my second point is do some sport and try to stay in shape, try to take care of your body. And what I love to do when I'm at home is dancing yeah i love to put on music and to dance it's also very relaxing very positive like i love this so any kind of dance you can do like belly dance i have actually a video on belly dance a belly dance class if you want to do it it's very good and it's really the best time ever to do belly dance when you're at home like you can try you can practice 
belly dance is such a feminine dance it's the most feminine dance in the world and you feel so feminine so confident so beautiful when you're doing it that it's just touched your femininity it's just make you closer to your feminine energy and i just i'm in love with this dance also i love to do yoga yoga is amazing to relax very very good also to stay in shape to have like good abs <laughs> i love also to do like some cardio you know like some cardio to stay in shape like some lift weight also ballet dancing is also amazing you can have some classes that you can find online which are very useful right now i love every every kind of dance zumba zumba i have even a dvd on of zumba yeah who has a dvd anymore I don't know <laughs> and uh, this is also going to give you like the effect of really uh, feeling good your body is good like your blurred circulation is good everything is fine your face is also going to glow your hair also everything is going to be better if you exercise so I really suggest to exercise and stay healthy as at home it's not because we are at home that we cannot exercise and stay healthy and positive the third tip is self-care yes self-care is so important to stay feminine at home at the same time as you need to take care of your clothes and like wear beautiful loungewear around the house also you need to exercise take care of your body but you also need to take care of your skin your hair everything your nails like Staying feminine is about taking care of yourself and taking care of your femininity as a woman. So do some mask, do some hair care, do some, uh, put on some lotion. I love doing this. I love putting on some lotion. Like you don't have to do that only when you're going out. You have to do it. Like do it for yourself. Like to to smell good. Like to, to be like, mm, I smell good. Oh wow, my hair is smelling really good. Like everything is everything looks good everything smells good like some cream to moisturize your face also some perfume i love perfume so what i love to do when i'm at home i don't like to use like a very strong perfume because then it's too strong you know i love to use like a very light one this one is from victoria's secret you know i love those kind of perfume i love victoria's secret perfume and this one is she love fragrance mist um so it's very light you know it's not it's a fragrance mist it's not like a very strong perfume and it's super mm. oh yes yes so like that you smell good even at home you feel very very feminine with this very feminine scent you know take care of yourself to do some mask to take care of your nails like do some manicure we have time right now so we can do some manicure we can do some um, health care some mask everything that you want lotion cream everything it's just the time to pamper yourself to, and to be the best version of yourself also tip number four is make sure your environment is clean like the environment around you make sure everything is clean so i know I, i'm like I'm like kind of lazy on this area but I try as much as possible to have my bedroom especially like staying clean and everything your house should stay clean like that you have your feminine energy I think that feminine energy is about beautifying the world around you so make sure that everything looks beautiful everything looks nice even try to decorate your house to move some some things like to redecorate your house maybe it's going to help you with staying positive you know when sometimes i like to change things you know i i like to I like to put on some flowers some candles you know to have this beautiful energy to feeling very calm and very uh, relaxed feminine Tip number five is also having some beautiful sleepwear, some beautiful pajamas. And I'm going to do a video on feminine and elegant pajamas, elegant and beautiful like pajama slipwear. And I suggest to really not stay in pajamas all day and really like try to dress up, try to have like something, like I said, like a loungewear that you can even wear outside if you want to go out. But some beautiful pajamas, like I suggest silk, satin, 
uh, velvet silk is so amazing for pajamas because silk gives you this effect of you're not feeling warm but you're not feeling cold you just have the perfect temperature even during winter during summer you're not too warm or too cold you know you're not too hot or too cold also if you don't have the the budget to sleep in silk you can still wear satin satin is still really beautiful it just imitates silk but it's really like giving you this beautiful effect you're feeling good you're feeling beautiful you wake up and you're already in a good mood you're already feeling beautiful which is really really the point you want to feel beautiful all day long and not like feeling slubby and dirty or anything you want to really feel feminine also during the winter i suggest to wear like velvet pajamas it's beautiful it's very warm you feel very warm and it's very beautiful looking like even having some velvet robe uh it's really luxurious looking as you can see it's shiny it looks serious looking then the next tip is to stay positive and i really suggest this especially right now trying to stay positive as much as possible trying to listen things that are just positive try to listen on on news that are just positive try to see some movies that are just positive listen music doing some meditation doing some positive affirmation also like the way you're talking is going to really help you staying positive if you say positive affirmation it is going to you're going to act more positive you're going to think more positive it's going to impact your brain and also laughing laughing is so so important for human beings we all have to laugh every day to have a positive mind to stay healthy it's a question of being healthy apparently laugh really help your self-esteem your your positivity your your mental health also to watch some comedies Try to look at positive things on the internet also. Try to not overlook at negative things and it's going to do to be a spiral. You're going to be negative and negative and negative, even more, even more, even more. So just look at positive things on the internet. I know that meditation is also very, very good for staying calm, staying positive. Like really taking a deep breath, deep breath, and just focusing on, for example, the noise that you hear, it's really helping with when you're anxious a lot and when you're too anxious about a lot of things. Focusing on things that are just lighter, that are just not that deep. You focus on the noise of the birds, you fo focus on the noise of water, you, you focus on natural noises, on natural image in your head. And when you start meditating, it's really changing your life, your mood, everything. You just feel so much better. So I really recommend meditation. I really recommend yoga i really recommend doing sport it's really changing everything and it's not because everyone is saying it it is really the case <laughs> also the next step is eat healthy yes i suggest if you stay at home and especially um you're staying at home so you're not having a lot of exercising even though i say you should exercise you should really exercise at home but try at the same times both go well together to stay in shape you have to exercise and you have to eat healthy so i suggest like really eat a lot of vegetables a lot of fruit as much as possible avoid avoid sugar as much as possible avoid greasy things avoid like and include vegetables in every meal that you have if you're hungry in the middle of the day try to eat fruit instead of like other things you know it's just way better for your health i just eat fruit all day long i'm just obsessed with fruits especially raspberries if you if you take off my raspberries i will die try new things and try also to cook more cooking is also a very very good activity to do at home and also it's going to help you eating more healthy because if you try to take time to cook you're going to be healthy because everything will be homemade i try to avoid processed food i i don't eat it i actually also the last tip is practice your feminine moves at home once you're at home it's really the moment to practice to be more feminine and having more feminine moves so as i said in my video on how to walk in a very feminine way you can do some practice at home you can do some like i said like the moves like this you know like 
the belly dance moves to have some moves that are more softer when you're moving so if you practice your feminine moves at home it's going to become natural once you're going to be outside so I have actually a beautiful video on how to move and walk in a feminine way I have another one on how to move and speak in a feminine way so uh, I will link it below and make sure you see those videos if you want to because now it's the moment when you're at home to really practice practice everything that you want to do if you want to learn how to dance if you want to learn how to sing if because now at home it's the moment to really like stay positive trying to take care of yourself trying to take care of your skin your hair everything looking feminine smelling good with your beautiful perfume and also like trying to learn new things you know I think I want to do a video about like me doing the Jane Fonda exercise like workout i saw it on youtube and i was like wow <laughs> this is hard so i want to see if i can do it and if it if you're interested in this video let me know down below because it can be funny to just exercise together you know because we're all at home right now so exercising together like to also clean your wardrobe i don't know like I have so many clothes like I need to organize it more and that's really the best time ever when you're at home. So that's it for this video beautiful people I hope you liked it. If you have other tips on how to stay feminine at home if you yourself you know some tips on how to stay feminine at home let me know in the comments below. Also if you like the video don't forget to put a like and subscribe down below. Follow me also on my Instagram which is Lisa Hart Style. And let me know what kind of other videos you want to see and if you want to see more videos during right now because we're all at home and everything. So if you want to see more videos, let me know. Also, I'm now on TikTok and it says, this is funny. And I just put a belly dance video on TikTok and I think I will put like some dance videos, some video about fashion some video about like maybe beauty or things like this things feminine feminine things so if you want to join me on tiktok it's at lisa hard style just like my instagram so feel free to join try to stay positive okay and take care of yourself Mwah. goodbye